Hello, welcome to this video. This video will discuss about standard deviation, how to calculate standard deviation. In the last video, we had discussed about how standard deviation is different from mean deviation. We have seen the two differences. You can refer to the last video. In the last video, we have also discussed how to calculate standard deviation from the individual series. So before watching this video, you should uh, watch that video that of standard deviation from individual series. Then you get back to this video. Now coming on to the topic. In this video, we'll discuss about discrete series. And this is how we distinguish discrete series. So this is the pattern of discrete series. We'll calculate standard deviation. So as usual, the first step is to write the formula. This is how standard deviation denoted. Summation fd square upon n minus a summation fd upon n the whole square and you have to put the under root over it so this is the formula for standard deviation while we are calculating from the discrete series there is only difference that f and the formula remains the same as individual series now we have to calculate another thing that is you now have to calculate the deviation the deviation is this the demand of the formula. So you have to look at the demand of the formula. Now we need to identify one assumed mean. So here A means assumed mean is statistics. Here we can assume any number. But for the sake of convenience, we are selecting 6.5. That is the middle value of these things. So for the sake of convenience, you can refer any value that answer will come out as same. So don't worry. A is assumed mean 6.5. Now in order to calculate the deviations, we have to do this thing x minus A. So here in the formula, we are doing x minus A. So 3.5 minus 6.5 is 3. 4.5 minus 6.5 is minus 2. 5.5 minus 6.5 is minus 1. 6.5 minus 6.5 is a 0. 7.5 minus 6.5 is 1. 8.5 minus 6.5 is 2. 9.5 minus 6.5 is 3. Now you have to look at the demand of this formula. Now we are, need to require the obtain this value of Ft. Now we have to multiply these two columns. So the next column will be of FD. You just have to look the demand of the formula. So we are putting lines in between this. Now F into D. So here 3 into 3 that is a minus 9 because the minus sign of 3. 7 into 2 is 14. Again the negative value. 22 into 1 is 22 that is minus 22. 60 into 0 is 0. 85 into 1 is 85, 32 into 2 is 64, 8 into 3 is 24. Now, this the summation FD, we have to obtain the total of this column. So here in the downward direction, you write summation FD and with the help of calculator, you have to add these values. So first we will add all the positive values like 85 plus 64 plus 24. Then we have to deduct these minus values that is minus 9, minus 14 and minus 22. So the figure comes out as 128. This is the figure of summation FD. Now the requirement of the formula is also summation FD square. So F D square. This is the new column you have to draw. That is F D square. Now you cannot uh, multiply this F D square. You just have to multiply this F D column with the D column. Because here the 2 D becomes D square. One thing must be noted here very carefully. That you cannot square these values. F D square doesn't mean the same thing. You cannot square these value. You have to multiply the two column. That is column D and column FD. 
because f d into d is f d square. These two are different thing. f is different and d is different. Now we have to multiply these things. That is 9 and 3 to 27. Negative values become positive. So 27. 14 into 2 is 28. 22 into 1 is 22. 0 into 0 is 0. 85 into 1 is 85. 64 into 2 is 128. 24 into 3 is uh, 60, 72. So 24 into 3 is 72. Now we have to obtain this total of this number. Because summation FD square is the demand of the formula. Now we have to add these 27 plus 28 plus 22 plus 85 plus 128 plus 72. That is the figure comes out as 362. Now we have everything of the formula. We are just required to calculate the n. So in discrete series n is the total of this column that is summation f is equals to or n is equals to the same thing. It means we have to do the total of this figure. So 3 plus 7 plus 22 plus 60 plus 85 plus 32 and 8. So that is 217. Summation f or n is the same thing. Same. Now we just have to put these value into the formula. So summation fd square in the place of summation fd square we have to put this value that is 362 divided by n here the value of n is a 217 minus summation fd summation fd is a 128 here n the same that is 217 and the whole square of this and now you have to put the under root now we just have to solve this equation First step to solve this equation is solve the internal this. It means 362 divided by 217. 362 divided by 217. That is 1.166 1 minus 128, 128 divided by 217. That is 0 0.58, 0 0.58. You have to put the square, the same thing and put the under root. Now 0 0.58 into 0 0.58. It means you have to calculate the square of this value. So the next step is 1.66 minus 0 0.3364. You have to deduct this value from 1.66. So 1.66 minus 0 0.3364. That is 1.3236. Now we just have to obtain the under root of this value. So under root of this value is 1.150. So this is the final answer. 1.150 is the final answer of standard deviation in the discrete series. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe this channel or share this video to your friends and everything and hope you like this video stay connected stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you so much have a nice day